Hi, I'm Carly Verhoeven and I'm in Kitchener today at Han's House, which is actually the Oktoberfest store on Benton Street. I'm here to speak with Dave McNeil, Executive Director of KW Oktoberfest, about some of the festivities this week and how you can avoid the iron construction and instead get in on some of the beer, sausages and dancing. Parkside to the north side of Northfield is open. Access to Coomp from Northfield is open. The northbound on-ramp from Northfield to Highway 85 is also open. The northbound and southbound off-ramps from Highway 85 to Northfield and the southbound on-ramp from Northfield to Highway 85 are open as well. Seagram at the railway tracks is open as well as the railway crossings at Barringer and University. The Waterloo Park parking lot at Seagram is closed. Alternate parking is available in the lot just northwest of the railway tracks. Caroline and Herb Street is open. Intermittent lane closures will still be required in and around the intersection to complete remaining curb, landscaping and sidewalk work. King from William to Union is open, including the intersection of King and Allen near the Bower Lofts. King from Herb to William is closed until late November. Uptown Waterloo remains accessible using Caroline and Regina. Pedestrian access on King is maintained. Access to the Waterloo Town Square North parking lot from Caroline is open. A pedestrian detour is in place from Caroline to Willis Way and through the Waterloo Town Square North parking lot. The intersection closure at King and Wellington will be extended until approximately the end of October. Access to the 607 King Plaza is maintained from Wellington to King. Victoria from Joseph to Duke is now open to two-way traffic, including the intersection of King and Victoria. King and Moore remains closed until late October for construction of the grade separation at the railway tracks. Francis and King by the Coffin Lofts is open as well as the intersection of Duke and Francis. Duke and Frederick is closed until approximately early November. Frederick and King is closed until approximately mid-November. The intersection will open October 10th on a compacted granular surface to accommodate the KW Oktoberfest Parade. Charles Borden to Ottawa is open to two-way traffic. Further closures will be required at Ottawa and Charles to accommodate the installation of LRT track. Lock Line in Cortland is closed until about mid-October. Two-way traffic is maintained on Cortland. Hayward at the railway tracks is closed until late 2016. Local traffic is maintained on Hayward up to the railway crossing. Wilson from Fairway to Kingsway is now open. I spoke with Dave McNeil, Executive Director of KW Oktoberfest, to find out how iron construction has impacted this year's festivities. Well, there's been challenges, but I think Ion's a part of living in a community that's growing. So, I mean, that's a good thing for the festival in the long term. In the short term, yeah, there's been some growing pains. Um, last year, we had to change our parade route. Uh, it's following the same route this year, so that's not quite as bad. Um, Last year we were able to still have our welcome plots out in front of uh, our store on Benton Street with a fest hall across the street on Frederick Street. With the construction we're not going to be able to do that this year so we've had to relocate all of those activities. So we're going to have our welcome plots down in Carl's Air Square and our Oktoberfest tent that used to be across the street on Frederick Street will now be in the market. So a few changes downtown for sure. If you go to the Oktoberfest website you'll see there are a lot of venues that you can choose from. With the iron construction, are there any venues in particular that may be challenging to get to? Well, I think a, a lot of the clubs are having a few issues here and there. Concordia Club, uh, you know, with Ottawa Street being closed, they do have the Mill Street uh, connection open now, so it's a little bit easier to get to. But um, I think all of the clubs that are, that are on the road and on the LRT road have done a pretty good job signing and letting their patrons know how to get to them. So, uh, you know, we're hopeful that... Uh, People of Kitchener are pretty hardy and pretty uh, resourceful, so hopefully they'll find their way around. That's what we're hoping, at least. For someone who hasn't been to Oktoberfest before and they're looking on the website, it can kind of be overwhelming because you don't know which venue to choose. So are there any tips that you can provide? Well, when we're talking about our fest halls, we have 18 fest halls to choose from. We've tried to do a pretty good job on the site of talking about the demographic of the fest hall and what each fest hall has to offer. Um, so, you know, it takes some time, watch the video, um, read the little blurb about it because it really does narrow down to what the groups are. Some of our fest halls are sold out already so it's hard to get into them anyway. 
Um, but um, we, we do try to do a pretty good job of explaining what, uh, you know, some, some festivals are known for their food and their cultural things. Others are the big party and the big tents. So, um, yeah, do a little bit of research, talk to your friends and see where everybody's going. Watch social media. Obviously, uh, it's become a big part of what we do. What type of experience should visitors expect coming to Oktoberfest in Kitchener? Well, I think they should expect to have a great time. And I, I mean, you can come and have whatever type of experience you want. If you were coming with your family and you want to have a great family cultural experience, we're going to provide that for you. If you're coming with a group of friends that want a culinary adventure, we've got lots of opportunity for you to, to do that. If you've got a bunch of friends that are just looking for a good time in a, a German party in a tent, we can help you out there. So really, whatever you want to do, we've got something happening at KW Oktoberfest that, uh, that you and your friends and family can uh, have a great time at and, and spend some quality time with friends and on the website it says that Oktoberfest Kitchener is a second best experience can you elaborate yeah uh, National Geographic a couple years ago did a, a survey across all of their platforms talking about the different Oktoberfests that different people offer and and fortunately KWO Kitchener Waterloo Oktoberfest came up as the second best experience outside of Munich so it's something that you know our 500 volunteers wear is a, a badge of honor uh, we use it when we're in our talking points and you know I think it really is uh, a testament to what we are doing has struck a chord and, and it is making a difference to the people that come. We're in the Oktoberfest store on Benton Street in Kitchener and I'm seeing a lot of attire that many people could come in and kind of become more festive before they go into Oktoberfest. What do you have in this store? So what we have is really we've got authentic German trocht, we've got tr and Trocht is really the outfit of, uh, of Germany and, and Bavaria. Um, so we've got the authentic stuff, which can be quite costly. Then we've got, um, you know, some cheaper versions of that. And then what we also have is we have the hat, the feather, T-shirts. So we always say that if you're wearing Trocht and you're at Oktoberfest, you're part of the party. If you're not in Trocht and you don't have that hat and feather, you're watching the party. So. The Concordia Club is one of the biggest fest halls in KW Oktoberfest and is located right in the heart of Iron Construction. The good news is, once you get down there, you won't have to worry about construction because you'll be enjoying some beer and sausages. If you're looking for tickets, visit oktoberfest.ca. To stay up to date on Iron Construction, visit rideion.ca. For Rogers TV, I'm Carly Verhoeven.